Yeah. Here we are. It's really happening. And there we are. The stream begins promptly. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? How are we all doing today? OBS eating up all my CPU again. It likes to do that. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, we have two viewers. Hello. Ready to sit in and, um, you know, do the berserkin. The berserkin jerkin. Idea. Berserkin jerkin. Okay. Um, well, let me go ahead and get the Comics Plus Plus app turned on. Um, where were we? Oh, it kicks off right away with some with some boob boobage, actually. Yeah, lots of boobage. We're, we're starting on In the Garden and there's so much boobage already. We'll also do a quick lead in here as well. Okay, I need to get my music ready. A little bit of Jotgrim. Come on, just show up for me. Where are you? It usually shows up on the sidebar. Will you be on my home page? No. I'll click on a heat miser click on a heat miser video and scroll down and it's bound to be here. There it is. Okay, this needs to be fairly low. Have desktop audio kind of around there. Autumn moonlight, good to see you. Okay. Well, now I'll unmute this. Da, 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 da. About ready to begin. Just give me, give me a moment. Okay. So, last stream I was not able to go all the way through volume twenty nine, so we're picking up about halfway through volume twenty nine. Within the garden, have a nice, simple stream today. Okay, um, so we go here, and all right, it is uh, this. Okay, so Shift Q is the normal blur. Okay, we're gonna be needing this in a little bit because there's some boobage coming up. Um, Alt W is normal wide, Shift Q or Shift W is blurred wide. Shift is blur. I can never remember this. I can never remember this. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Do, do, do. I love that you're reading Berserk Love the Story so much. Uh, I listen to you very often. Well, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I can't read. Sometimes I can't read the chats because of that this little stupid heart that's over the top so i have to hover over the heart to get it to move all right <clears throat> anyway let's turn this down turn on our dungeon synth here there we go we don't want it to be too loud just enough in the background over my sultry voice. <laughs> All right. Always on top. Good. Go ahead and start the local recording as well. I always have recordings of the Berserk streams for backups, just in case. And um, Comics Plus. Okay, so um, Farnese was hanging uh going back to her, her home castle did not pan out well don't know why she did this because 
her foresight not the best um so as you can see we're starting off with a bang <laughs> here um okay so first little bit here this is gonna get a little bit louder isn't it lower that okay so um in the garden they're trying to get a ship because they want to go to the land of the elves to restore sorry I need to trim got crap in my beard uh they need to they want to restore Casca back to herself right um and so they're trying to get a ship to head out is that correct I think that's correct four viewers all right guys you ready to go okay so I could probably show this I'm not going to uh so Shirk and also feel free to correct me anyone watching on any of these pronunciations I don't know if I'm getting them right Shirk and Casca are bathing apparently uh I said I'd help you no thank you doing something you're not used to alone is tough and I'm only saying it because I'm being nice. So what's up with this crap? Oh, he's tied up in a chair while they bathe. You've got a previous offense. Oh, no, please don't pull that. Boobage. This is how you appreciate a companion who's come through so many battles with you? Really, it's so sad. I can't even get pissed about it. I'll show you the power of sadness of someone who couldn't be trusted. Your nasty nature's turned me into a raven beast. What did I just feel? So Casca got up. Come on, I told you to stop. You aren't listening to a word I say. Just use a spell to make her settle down. Uh-oh. I, I don't know how I feel about... How old is Shirk? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about seeing her naked. <laughs> oh, no. Um, enough already, Cos. Uh-oh. Wait, what did, what is happening? So she fell, she realized that she fell onto guts. Um, gets embarrassed, please don't remember this. They're taking so long, he thinks. Okay, and now uh, Farnese is back here in the bathhouse. Again, can't show this. It's been a long time since I took a bath by myself. She's remembering Casca. Casca, I wonder if her hair is being washed properly. Milady, your change of clothes is prepared. Yes, they can do without me at least. Where are my dagger and shirt? They were damaged, so we thought we would dispose of them. Should you require, we will prepare new ones. Okay, can I finally unblur? <laughs> Milady, please wait. Please, your clothes. L Lady Farnese. You, wait right there. Yes, um... Oh my gosh, she's so big. Your behavior is as unprecedented as ever, little sister. No wonder father's amazed. Magnifico. Magnifico? Brother. How long it's been. We've not seen each other in years since before you were sent to the convent. Have you met with our older brothers? No, naturally. The Vandemians aren't very tightly knit. But much regarding you has reached my ears. Your work with the Holy Iron Chain Knights and the unfortunate troubles that followed. A pity that, but lift up your eyes. There's no need to worry. No fault lies with you. Instead, Father deserves the blame. He gave his tacit consent when the Holy See's priest made you the leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights, though you know nothing, and now see how he speaks to you. That isn't all. I remember when I'd visit the mansion in the Holy City. I'd see her. This girl wandering the huge garden all alone like some kind of ghost. Hmm. He was raising a pure flower in a greenhouse to protect it from the uncleanness of the outside world. That was hardly what that was. He just aimlessly left you to yourself. He did nothing short of abandoning his responsibilities as a parent. Even when you set fire to the mansion, father was the one to blame for goading his only daughter that far. Even if the words Vandemian devil child pass people's lips, that is not your own indiscretion. Devil child. Aye. 
It's not that I don't understand how you feel. Eh? That bastard thinks of his family as nothing more than cogs in the giant machine called Vendimian. Inferior products that don't meet his approval are cast off without hesitation or any show of concern. Just as if they were stones by the wayside. So, Magnifico, are you a good guy or are you a bad guy? Or is it a moral gray area like much of Berserk and the best literature and stories are? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, what brings you here? Actually, I just wanted a bath by myself without this this idiot. A journey to the west by ship with companions? For a woman you know. Rather, I guess this is like you. We talked with traders throughout Rutanis, but every ship was engaged with the war effort, so I thought I'd to see if Father would use his influence. Hmm. It didn't work. Britannus is now literally overflowing with anchored ships, but it's no exaggeration to say nearly all of them are involved with the war. The idea of finding a ship to carry personal travelers at a time like this, even if you did ask Father. A single ship would not be beyond my power. What? But in return, I too have a request to make, my sister. A request? You gonna, you gonna get all Lannister up in here? Blow past him, crab zollies. Crabbingham? For goodness sake, all of you, would you stop playing around? Help out a little. You never know when boobs are going to show up. Please see a Casca's meal. Uh, me? Oh no, you mustn't get up, Guts. I'm alright, I just have a slight fever, says the dude who's been, like, pulled apart and put back together by his suit of armor. No, it's because your mind has been remiss since coming here. The fatigue from your previous battles has come out all at once. You must rest a little and recover from your wounds. I used the kitchen to make this medicinal soup, as opposed to the living room. It might be a little bitter, though. Uh, I'll feed myself. No, you will not. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> it's a good panel. Damn, took long enough. Where'd you wander off to all night? He knows something. Look at that shadow. Well, what about the ship? Where's Farney? A ship has been arranged. Lady Farnese will not be rejoining you. Hmm. Hmm. What he doing? Anyone know what he doing? Mysterious music. Farney, she's not coming back. What's up with that, Serpico? Who's going to look after Casca? Take this. If you show this letter to any trader in the city, you should be able to acquire a ship and as many sailors as you need. Please do not open the seal. And Shirk, I am returning these borrowed items. Thank you very much. Um... On behalf of the Vandemian family, I offer the sincerest gratitude for safely returning the head of the family's daughter, Farnese, to Vandemian to this place. It amounts to little, but our Vandemian bank shall shoulder the burden of any and all expenditures your group incurs while in this city. What's this all about? Again, I extend our formal thanks. Now by your leave. Wait, Serpico, please. Hey, there's no harm in at least telling us the reason, is there? There is nothing for me to say on this matter. I wanted to try having a fight with you again. That motivation no longer exists. Hmm. So now what? It is no use. Her mind is closed, or rather it seems that Farnese has untied my hair. Now thought transference will not reach her. What gives? We've all cheated death together so much, and in the end it's a scrap of paper and I have a nice life? <gasps> death consciousness? This is why I can't stand aristocrats. I think there are some circumstances they cannot discuss. When I touched Serpico's hand for an instant, a vision of Farnese's sad face came across in Serpico's perplexity. This is just so odd. Farnese was so zealous about studying magic and taking care of Casca, so to suddenly do this... She knows it's for the greater good, even though she does not want to do it. I can't take my eyes off her for a second. She spilled her Lunchable. It ain't like me to poke my head into people's affairs, but this definitely doesn't seem right. 
Hey, short stuffs. I've got a favor to ask. It's an elf only job. This is kind of wild. Aristocratic stately mansion infiltration report. Just don't have too much fun and don't lose sight of him. Nice. Nice. Using Puck. Using Puck for the reasons that Puck exists. Imhotep is invisible. Watch, I'm going to hit next. There's going to be boobs. Oh, no, I'm okay. Who? I'm stuffed. The dinner sweets? But we lost sight of Serpy. So that they, they come in and they just start eating the food? That's right. How can you just eat and sleep? Get it together. There goes Farnese. Well, who she thinks she's dressed up like a princess? She's just a servant. There you are, Farnese. Excellent. Brother. I'm pleased you accepted my request. No need to worry. I won't steer you wrong. Go on and introduce yourself, my old friend. Oh, no. I was like, is this Griffith? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Farnese. Farnese du Van Dimian? I am Roderick of Stauffen? Stauffen? An officer of the 8th Navy. <laughs> 11th Navy? Greed, he's your financy. I would be honored if you would call me Roderick, Lady Farnese. How do you do, Roderick? Then likewise, call me Farnese. Whoa, 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 what the hell is this? Roderick is an old college buddy. An old chap from my college days. He's third in line to the royal throne of, uh, is that Ith? I-I-T-H, or is... <laughs> Ith. <laughs> what is it? E Eith? 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 And a ship's captain in the 11th Navy. I have heard much about you from your brother, about the Vendimian Devil Child and the Wandering Princess. Uh, Roderick, that's kind of abrupt. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> you are interesting. <laughs> Look around, Farnese. Roderick's given you so many red roses. I'd like a dozen red roses, please. All these? That's incredible. It was a bit of an effort, making it worthy of the daughter of the esteemed Vendimian family. But do they please you? They do. Thank you very much, Roderick. Like, did people do this before movies? Oh, yeah? Well, you make for quite the picture surrounded by roses. They have photographs? But you know, like, like seriously, do they have photographs? What's, why is he doing that? For my part, I just can't bring myself to like roses. They're so... But, you know, um, oh, do you want to be liked or hated? Roses are said to be ladies among flowers. What? <laughs> A symbol of evident nobility. They bloom fully and haughtily. All other flowers look like mere window dressing. <gasps> Salad dressing? Window dressing? Undressing? Yes, indeed, just like noble women. Competing through dress and showiness inside the greenhouse that is noble rank. But even when roses are gathered by the hundred or the thousand, you can't tell one from the next. These roses are a fitting adornment for you. A white lily of the field, which scatters not even when struck by a strong wind. I don't know. I think she, she could probably get knocked over by a strong wind, honestly. You know what that is? It's a scandal. This just won't do. We're out of here. We've got to let everyone know. He's hiding it, man. He wants to go back so bad. Farney engaged? What the heck? Is it true, Ivalira? You bet it is. We just got a load of the guy. These roses are a fitting adornment for you, he said, or some junk. But it felt so natural and bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie? Farnese didn't look all that unhappy. You mean if she marries him, she won't be able to travel with us anymore? Well, it just might mean that. I don't know. He might be a great guy, you know? Then he could have just said so instead of running off all of a sudden. Talk about cold. I'm sure it's the brother trying to manipulate her to get some kind of political advantage. I watched Game of Thrones. I'm sure being friends with a monkey like you is embarrassing for an aristocrat. 
at least I can talk today. Um, past few streams, I've like not been able to talk at all. Farnese's wish to learn magic was genuine, and she treasured her silver knife so much. She was also the person to whom Casca was most attached. Dude, Serpico was like OP with his wind sword. It's going to be a tragedy now that he's gone. I'm quite unable to look after her as Farnese did. But still, she sent back the silver knife and all. Isn't studying magic something an aristocrat girl would just would just fall into on a whim? Sorry. I, I knock on wood, right? I, I, I can talk. You really do talk too much. It's the opposite. As collateral for getting a ship, an engagement was suggested to her or something like that. Yes, right. That would make sense. Good call. I'm going to pause this right now because it's getting into the, the, the best part of the album. And I'm going to go over to this one. Because this is a little more ambient. Come on. I guess that's okay. Just something a little lighter, because we're not in any we're not in any danger right now. Things aren't, you know, harrowing, except for the fact that Farnese is gone. Alright. Aristocratic political marriages are pretty much a matter of course, especially for her a daughter of nobles with such a high reputation. I completely forgot about that. So what do we do? It's what she decided herself, or so I'd like to think. Did she drop a map? That settles it. If the price for a ship is Casca's babysitter and good food, it just ain't much of a deal. He's not wrong. Mama, ooh. Caught in a slide. Alright. Mama. Mother. What is this all about? We have two left involved. We have the ball in the, the colonnade chamber. That does not sound like a good thing. That sounds like uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, engagement rape. I don't know. I'm not Manifico. What is his name? Roderick? I want to give Roderick the benefit of the doubt, but like, you know, he's into some weird stuff. A little more. It feels like I'm so close. Oh, she's still trying. She's still trying to have that magic within. My practice of magic with my mentor. She's going to have a breakthrough on her own. It was short. But I felt a sign like something would change inside me. It made my heart race. But then being here like this, I'm able to think that that was nothing more than silly child's play. Um. Here it is already, spring. Yet the snow lingers. You will catch cold, Lady Farnese. Being with you in this place, the snow falling on us, it feels just like being in that miniature garden in the holy city. As if, I'm, I'm going to assume there's no boobs. And I'll blur it later if there is. I just want to keep going. As if that journey, as if, as if that journey, as if the feelings I felt on that strange journey were all a dream. I wanted to be useful by doing something nobody but I could do. I wanted to be helpful to all of them. But I'm sure that was an excuse. I was unable to stay there at that fireside circle of light given to me so unexpectedly. There is warmth, yet I could offer it nothing in return. You don't, you don't know that. The warmer it got, the more I thought I might have a place here. But I couldn't stay, and in my anxiety, I ran back home. Here, where I'm accustomed, cold and enclosed. I'm a coward and a fool, Lady Farnese. It's mother. So, Farnese, you're looking well after so long. As are you, mother. What brings you here? As I can't abide the cold during the winter, I was sailing about the southern islands. 
I thought I would complete my trip by taking in a battlefield. You know, my book, shameless plug, the main character of my book, link in the description, um, has uh, parents very similar to the Vandimians, actually. Um, I believe it's chapter chapter two. I wanted to get some like illustrations for this, but like some like simple sketch illustrations. Chapter two starts with Andrew. Where have you been? The entire state has been looking everywhere for you. And I get like the similar vibes going on here. It's like I know these characters. I know these types of characters. I thought it would complete my trip by taking in a battlefield and how nice that the armies are so heroic and full of stalwart soldiers. Oh, speaking of which, didn't you steal away from your holy knights and go missing? What brings you here? Well, much has happened. Oh my, betrothed, you? Who is he? A royal gentleman who is an old, an old school friend of Manifico. Manifico? Is it Manifico or Manifico? I don't know, Manifico sounds more special. And exciting. Does your father know? Menefico said he would... It sounds like uh, like Latin or Spanish, though. <laughs> said he would at some point find a chance to tell him. Humph, I swear. Not Latin. Tino? What, what, what is Latino, now that I think about it? Does that, does that derive from Latin? You know what? Now I'm curious. Now, now I'm curious. I'm going to figure this out. Latino. Latin America. Oh, that makes sense. Cultural concept in the Americas where romance languages derived from Latin are predominant. Oh. Spanish, Portuguese, and French empires. So mostly Mex like Mexico and everything south of that. That's Latin America. Derived from Latin romance languages, huh? I mean, I guess Spanish Antonio Banderas, you know. Interesting. The more you know, dude, the more you know. I mean, I wasn't wrong <laughs> in some way. Uh, all right. I swear, when it comes to Vendimian men... Are you all right with this? Does it seem you'll get on well with him? He kindly used the word interesting to describe me. Oh, marry him now. Do you have any man of whom you're fond? I, well... Guts is such a heartthrob. Every woman loves him. No, to me, he's... You're out of sorts, somehow. <laughs> You don't seem like that daughter who had the head of the Vendimian family at a loss. But I never... Oh, you didn't know? Your father fears you. Huh? You see, he's weak. Cucked. Father? Him? Yes, he's weak. So he wants everything situated where he can handle it. He moves people around... He moves people and things all throughout the world like they were toys. And once everything is arranged according to his own schemes, he finally relaxes. In my eyes, he is slave to the world. It's a weird way to look at it. Well, I suppose if he wasn't so abnormal, he wouldn't be cut out to be the Vendimian head. To someone like him, you're an enigma, a little monster. I am? To father? That, that cannot be. I never could say one word to father about my own feelings. I could never do more than nod at whatever he said, never. The use of words is not all there at it. The use of words is not all there is to communicating feelings, Farnese. You've always expressed your unutterable repressed feelings through the most unexpected behavior. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> like a baby without speech crying and shouting for all it's worth. Your father feared you for that. He hasn't the strength to accept things he doesn't comprehend. Oh my gosh. You were raised all alone like some beast of the field. <laughs> Mom, you're making me feel bad. All alone, like some beast of the field, never experiencing a parent's warmth or the world of a man. And so your heart is naked, not clad in any shell. When it comes to your feelings, you are artistic, so much so that you can't abide this world. But you know, if you were able to find a place for yourself somewhere, 
then you, more familiar with pain than most, could probably come to be kinder than anyone else. Mother, I don't exactly remember raising you as such, but as a mother, I'm proud to have a daughter like you. <laughs> you have a weird way of expressing it. Perhaps you had me as a bad example from which to learn. What are they to say? Milady, your coach has been prepared. Where to? Apparently a ball is being held in anticipation of tomorrow's departure for the front. Oh, there's the ball. It's sponsored by the municipal government and personages from each country are invited. Magnifico, I'm, I'm just going to keep saying that, said I must be sure to attend. Magnifico said so, did he? Mm. Sounds interesting. I wonder if you'd be against my accompanying you. Of course not. Is this whole thing Farney's place? Man, nothing but walls. I thought that said nothing but balls. And I'm like, hey. So what do we do? Just wait for it to get dark and we'll walk right in. Yeah, but there's nothing to be ashamed of, really. We'll just go and see her. I got a feeling this will mean, wait, if. I got a feeling this will mean trouble. If that's no go, we'll deal with it then. Anyway. Why do we bring Casca along? And you with that outfit of yours. We could never leave Casca by herself at the inn. Well, yeah, that's true. The need for magic may also arise. In that case, it is easier to focus this way. Besides, I want things to return to the way they were and quickly. Well, I'll say. Hmm? Bum, 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 bum. The Square. All right, two left in this volume. Is it wrong for me to anticipate like a rape scene coming up? It just it just feels like something that's going to happen, you know. Once upon a December, Giorgio du Vendimian, do, do. Joint command manager of the Vendimian Bank, father's right hand man, and in the re in reality the next of the head, next head of the Vendimian family, Palazzo do Vendimian, Grand Governor General of the Holy See realm, and recognized as the leading candidate for the next pontiff. This war will be no exception, but there are many nations that would get nowhere were it not for Vendimian backing. Every last one of them is desperate to be in favor for, with the next tyrant. You swine! Cons conspiring with Tudor of all places, have you no shame? Who are they? Lords of Midland. Oh, text. <laughs> mm. Anyway. The public reason for this war is to recapture Holy See territory from the Kashan invasion, but each nation's true motive is to carve Midland's domain into as many pieces as possible. The uh, the grander like geopolitical thing going on, I am completely in the dark about. Like I don't remember who the Kashan are. Are they like the the Lawrence of Arabia, uh, Prince of Persia guys? I don't remember who anyone is. I'm losing track of it all, all the time. Even if the Kashan are repelled, it's obvious that each nation's army, seven, seven ar nation army, will be by no, will by no means shy away from remaining there. And now with no kingdom, how will they regain their territories? To that end, what country, what power will they side with? That's where their thoughts lie. If they conduct themselves well, they might at least procure the position of regional governor general. Please desist from this, both of you. Stop it. Uh, unhand me. I would have you stop airing the shame of our kingdom in public. Sir Owen. Oh, no. My son's name is Owen. What a, what a, what a blow. Didn't we nobles each come to this place in search of assistance? Certainly. But from whom I mean to ask assistance is not some random aristocrat or royalty. It is all of you, my Midland lords. As a nobleman, I understand that you have that you place above all the relief of your territories and subjects. However, at a time like this more than ever, as Midlanders, we must bind together our strength in order to reclaim our kingdom. In this house, we believe that science is real. That is, if the royal family lives. 
Midland is an ancient kingdom. Therefore, as nobles, to us the royal bloodline is sacred, a peerless focus of our loyalty. To us the royal family is the kingdom itself. And now with, now with no royal family, Midland is an unfulfilled dream. Such a sad thing, the subjects of a dead king. Sir Laban, where are you now? Did you manage to safely infiltrate Wyndham? What of Princess Charlotte's safety? Oh yeah. I can do nothing for you. And it stings. Knights of a dead kingdom. What a miserable thought. Speaking as one despaired by his own country. My hat's off to them. And as one despaired by his own family. I say the same, good old boy. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> <laughs> but we're young and will never spend our remaining years living in such idleness. Go on and go on, go on and scrabble. Scrabble. Go on and boggle. Drink stale wine together to your delight in this bird cage you call the world. What's to come is not an age of the gentle, fully mapped inland seas, but of the raging open ocean. He who opens the unknown sea routes and sets foot upon unexplored lands, he who conquers those will be the conqueror of the age. So they haven't... They haven't explored the seas yet, huh? So much dialogue. Neither my father nor my subjects actually understand that point. Eth? Eth? I'm going to say Eth. On the northern frontier, surrounded by ocean, has, unlike other principalities, built up a history of shipbuilding, seafaring, and a refusal to yield to the rough sea. Paying no mind to that superiority, their insularism makes them loathe the intervention of other nations, and they think of nothing but seclusion. My father is the same. He displays interest in nothing beyond. How to move and rearrange pieces on his limited chessboard. We, too, alienated by family and abandoned by nation are forlorn fellows in this caged world do you want to listen to some uh, do you want to listen to some uh, brand new system of down what would these guys listen to together to like commiserate if we're to wander forlorn we'll just put to sea we will seize the coming age by the balls brother our bond the goddess of victory arrives If I ever, like, called one of my sisters the goddess of victory, I'd, like, just shoot myself in the left eye. No matter what father may say, we're in public. Once this betrothal is, betrothal is officially announced, he won't be able to cancel it on peril of his honor and fa as family, as family head. Once that's done, not only you and I, but Vendimian and Eth will be... Hold that thought, Magnifico. I like that side of you, but for now, enough inelegant talk. Dude, they're, t they're totally hot for each other. I looked forward to seeing you, my princess. I wonder if I may request the first dance with you. You may. My, my, never ceasing to amaze. What a superb gentleman. They like each other. How cute. Won't you introduce me to Magnifico? Mother. <laughs> when did you get here? I just arrived today. That was your friend, Farnese's fiancé. He's quite nice, though. A bit mischievous looking. M -m -m father where did you hear that? Oh, you know. It couldn't have been from father. Oh, is it something he should not know? Mother! Your blood is undeniable. You gradually become more and more like your father in his youth. Hardly stop teasing. Listen to some advice. Be careful of her when she's obeying what someone says, especially when she seems submissive. She's not the kind of woman who's at peace within the schemes of men. What are you trying to... You'll be sorry if you don't listen, just like your father. You're Farnese's servant. Um, I'm Serpico, madam. Yes, I remember now. It's been some time since you came to the estate. It has been over ten years. My life was saved by Lady Farnese at a young age. Due to that, I received the honor of being by her side. More than a decade alongside Farnese, really? Then you must be fairly warped as well. Uh-oh. I mean, I'll allow it. Such companions cannot be separated because they cannot stand without entwining against each other. Just like a pair of trees. You will continue to look after her then. She's quite astute. It's cold. Looks like the snow stopped. I want to go inside. Halt, who goes? Here it is. I beg your pardon, but you will allow us to pass. 
Good night shift. All right. Simple Tiger. Good to see you. How's it going? It's going to be so weird for me only watching first two streams of this. <laughs> I mean, hey, you don't have to stay if you don't want to, but uh, yeah, you're going to be absolutely lost. There are characters. Uh, I mean, honestly, like only two characters, right? Two or three characters right now that you might recognize. <laughs> uh, the colonnade chamber. Did something just go right in? Quiet. I'm using a spell to distract Odd, but if you make too much noise, we will be discovered. If this is a party, I bet they've got a bunch of good eats. It's no exaggeration to say I'm a gourmet elf. I'll offer my commentary. Chillin' and soberin', so this is perfect? All right, cool. That was sudden. There is no doubt in my mind this is the fog from when we were attacked at the beach cabin. You mean those are going to show up again in the middle of the city? It is coming, something fierce and hostile. This fog rolled in quick. Uh-oh. Dig on nibble. Ooh. What the hell's that? Too big for an alley cat. As with that time, I sense ominous odd. It's strange. You'd think something like that would come and attack us. Yeah, it just ran past. But if something like that slipped in here, we'd better hurry. I think so as long, though, it's easier for us to slip in. What's about to happen here? Figures this to be the tough part. Can't you do something with magic? It will take a little time with that many people, but I'll see what I... What's wrong? What? Huh? This way. Thought transference from Serpico. He says he's waiting at the rear entrance. Serpico? This colonnade chamber was, at one point in history, Kashan territory. When this land was won back from them, it seems one part of their palace was preserved as a victory monument. It's got like a um, Dr. Seuss vibe to it. I apologize for calling you over here. Serpico, we must come... Uh, we have come to see Farney... That is unfortunate, as I will not allow it to happen. Guts, this is presumptuous. But I will grant your wish right here and now. You're going to fight with Guts here, Serpico? Fine. <laughs> Guts, not you too. What has gotten into you? Something we can't let go of, I guess. You guys stay, stay there until this is settled. There's nothing to worry about. But there's no way they'll go at it seriously. They'll stop just short. It must be a bit cumbersome, that huge sword. This colonnade chamber is known as the Forest of Pillars. The space between them is narrower than normal, and their number is fast. So you led us here. Something tells me I would not win against you head on. I do hope you understand. As always, you're one cunning bastard. <laughs> and that's it. That's it for uh, number 29. Uh, let me go ahead and load up. You know, just, just look at my files. I don't care. Um, load up 30 here. I'm going to change the music now back to this one. Since we got some stuff going on here. There he is. I won't lie, I've been really warming up to Berserk. It's taken me like over halfway through the manga to really dial in. But now that I kind of have a sense for it, like I, I am... I am into it. Roderick. All right. Here we go. Duel. Do you think they'll stop just short? Chopping through him, man. 
Not bad for a maid. The damn, Serpico can do that good against Guts without the magic hood? He's using the pillars so Cuts can't swing his sword. That's cheap. No, I guess it's strategy. Your sword's destructive power places it beyond the classification of most swords. It could even split rock in two. But it still is a sword after all, and its extraordinary power is only exhibited when the tip reaches sufficient speed. No matter how you wield it in here, your sword is impeded by the pillars before it can reach such velocity. Just cut down a bunch of pillars, and then you have a lot of room. To say nothing of your still wounded body. Dang. Even so, you can smash through multiple reinforced stone pillars. I cannot evade such a threat forever, and my thin sword cannot pierce that armor. The places I can target are limited. Here comes his thrust as I anticipated. That is his only option here. If I can just evade this. Here! He switched his grip. He read me. Why must they do this? <laughs> he truly is strong. Unbelievably so. I am a man generally disassociated from intense emotion. I adapt to my circumstances and fill the role I am given. That is my style. Even in situations that seemed more or less unreasonable, my mind was at rest. You're scared now, huh? Adapt? No. Perhaps my mind was merely benumbed? But as I encountered you and shared in your journey, it would seem that not only Lady Farnese, but I too changed considerably. You clash head on with, my, with your own destiny. Compared to my cooled demeanor, that is a life similar to being scorched by hellfire itself. While I arranged myself in feigned ignorance, perhaps before I knew it, I too was affected by that heat. Which story arc have you been liking the most so far? Uh. I mean, the, um, the rescuing of Griffith and the Eclipse, which you have not gotten to yet, probably if you've only watched the first couple streams, um, was sublime. And I was not mentally ready for it, and it stayed in my head much like the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones for like a week or two afterward. Um, I would say the uh, there's a like a story arc with like some, what was her name? Like the girl who wanted to be like an elf fairy and uh, hated humans. That was interesting. Is that the girl that Shirk knew? I can't remember. Uh, but then also Rosine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was that was a great, great plot. Um, as well as just the uh, the witch in the woods, and uh, how her cabin was hidden, and meeting Shirk and all that. That was really nice. Um, there have the, the honestly the Holy Sea Knights, like the Father Mazga stuff got a little stale as it went on. Um, Griffith's return was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like the, the eclipse eclipses all the other plot points so far. is just such a notable moment. But there's been a lot of cool ups and downs, and I really like seeing this entourage, you know, last airbender-style ragtag group of people um, kind of come together. Holy Sea Arc is not my favorite too. It's just a little, a little, yeah, you know, like I said, stale and kind of hard to figure out exactly what he was trying to go for. And uh, its end was kind of, no pun intended, eclipsed by Griffith's return. So it was just kind of like, uh, whatever. But uh, post Griffith's return has been really interesting, I think. And the fact that Griffith has been largely not part of the story since he's come back is fascinating. We're still following Guts very strongly. Um, so all that is cool. Adapt, no. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You are certainly a, a man impossible to ignore. I felt intellectual, yet happy that Lady Farn... In, in, ineffectual, yet happy that Lady Farnese was being changed by you. And that's why I'll never allow it. I won't allow that to happen. Serpico? Uh-oh, Serpa goes in. There's no pillars near him. I can continue to evade no longer. This is the final one. I 
I was waiting for this. Okay. Suzerain in the Religious Domain by Dr. Seuss. Okay. Yeah, he, ju he just got bonked. He alive, Serpico? Oh, he's alive. Never thought you would utilize the crumbling pillar. Did you read my intent? No, it happened by chance. Then once again, with you and your reflexes. I will never let anything like that happen. Never. So, Guts, when you see Farnese, then what do you intend to do? I don't know, but I'll see her, that's for sure. You really are leaving things to chance, one to leave things to chance. So let's get going, we're in a hurry. Hey, was that real, for real just now? Were you two fighting for real? Yeah. At the end, you must have, that was luck. He's not so weak that I can go easy on him. That's what being a swordsman li is like. We're def we were definitely serious. But Guts had agreed to a tacit condition. Condition? I challenged him to a duel by the sword, and despite the disadvantages he may have had, he would answer by the sword. Maybe he could be deemed honest to a fault in swearing not to use projectiles, much less that cannon. Well, for my part, I did take advantage of that. And more than anything, I did not unleash the power of his armor. Perhaps I simply lacked the power to drive Guts that far, or else... If that is the case, I suppose I will wager on your unyielding spirit. That monster's got me worried. We're right. Don't linger behind or I'll leave you. Monster? It is apparently akin to the familiars that attacked us at the shore and has infiltrated this palace. At the shore, I do not know why. I can think of a reason. I killed some spellcasters at the shore, the ones who were controlling the familiars. They were unmistakably Kushan. Maybe that attack has something to do with the war in progress. If the Kashan are thus thusly using spellcasters as scouts or as a vanguard, if so, there's just one answer. Pretty soon this city's going to become a battlefield. Get away from this city as fast as you can. If, as you say, the mo that monster's the Kashan vanguard, it might be headed where the most important people are gathered. Farnese is in danger. That's what I thought. Like, when it ran past them, it's like it's going... It's going to the heart, man. Let us go. I will guide you there. Then Serpico, take these. It seems the Sylphs wish to return to their owner. Nice. Nice. Holder of the honorable title, Master of Scales. <laughs> the third generation of the Vandimian family, Lord Federico do Vandimian, has arrived. Dialogue. That's Federico do Vandimian, head of the great Vandimian family, the foremost in the world. They say that starting with Tudor, hardly any of the great powers can now wage war without Vandimian financial backing. We're doing this again? It isn't just nations. The financial administration even of even the Holy See is managed single-handedly by the Vandimian Bank. We said all this, didn't we? He surely is the most influential person in the Holy See domain. Talk about presence. Serpico? Supreme Consuls and City Administrators of Vritanus. I am honored that you accepted my invitation this evening. Tomorrow we'll surely see the start of a holy war, one involving a military host unprecedented in the history of the Holy See's domain. You dignitaries from myriad nations must feel akin to mighty heroes. However, this is your last banquet before departing for the front, so let us tonight discuss nothing so inelegant. Roderick, once Father's done speaking, we move, we embrace, we kiss. In toast, a celebration of victory. Good people gathered here. I would like to take this opportunity to impart an announcement regarding our Vendimian family. Who's that? The third Vendimian son, I believe. Magnifico? See these two standing there? Here? Third in line to the royal throne of Eth, Roderick of Stauffen, and my sit... Sit? Serpico? Magnifico? Father, what's this all about? Well, uh... You see... Uh-oh... Oh, a fog has rolled in. You don't say. <laughs> Things have looked better. Things certainly have looked better. 
Huh? What? A sudden gust broke the window. What's going on? The mist moment? Mm. I have not finished that movie. I hear that the ending has a, a twist, I think. Don't spoil it, please. But um, I uh, I watched like 40 minutes of that movie and I wasn't able to finish it. I need to get back to it. What's going on? Waiter, fetch a light. People were injured. Blood, my forehead's cut. What's that? Hey, what was that? Good people, I have brought a light. Someone's dead. Oh, yeah. So I like that the, the wind or the fog came in, blew out all the candles, and then like this thing just ate. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> what is that beast? Dad, get the beast out of here, Dad. It's... Oh, the McNuggies? <laughs> to the exit. Oh, man. Wait a second. That's just a guy? I think it's just a guy. Is that a lion? Isn't it a tiger? Impossible. There's no lion or tiger. Is that huge? I'm sure of it. That creature is connected to the astral world. Why something like that here? Here it comes. You two stand back. Silver. A silver candelabrum. Farnese? It doesn't like it. I can't move fast enough in this dress. Get naked! Oh, he's here. Oh, look at that. What an awesome... Oh, oh, oh. I thought she was going to get naked, but I think she'll be okay now. Serpico, my apologies. I was needed as a guide and had to step away for a bit. Looks like the party's in full swing. Hey! <laughs> All right. That's it. Um, perfect timing, too. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. That is our breaking point. Um, let me go ahead and timestamp that there. Intermission. All right, we're about uh, halfway through. Yo, Guts Audition for Marvel character. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be back like five minutes or so. Um, enjoy some, some lo-fi music while I am absent. Be right back.
It is me, the big man. Da one, da only. I'm back. Don't, don't even, don't even worry about it, okay? Don't even worry about it. I'm here. Hello. We are back. We are. Worry not. Fret not. We are here. Hold on. Doing a couple things and we'll be back. ready for this we're back with intrusion all right uh let's turn this down let's 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 get this scary music back let's just let's rewind it or did we have another one that we liked there's vint vinta schwarz How's this one? I think we started this one and we weren't feeling it. Ed Sheeran is pretty scary. Yeah, see this one, it's the same artist, but it's like, it's just not, it doesn't hit the same way. It's just not the same thing. We'll just go back to this. We'll, we'll rewind it. All right. Intrusion is the name of the game. That's where we're at right now. Do you think I cannot block? Do you think I cannot uh, censor it? Let's see. He is here, ready to fight. Guts, why is everyone here? To sample the foods of the court, of course. Looks like that critter's been sampling the guests. Showed him discre some discretion. Who are they? Hey, you mean that's... He means to fight that beast? That's insane. The monster... That monster tore so many people to shreds in an instant. What can he do himself? Is this whole arc going to culminate with like everyone being like, "Oh, thank you, guts. What can we give you?" And he's like, uh, "I want, I want my, my, uh, I want Farnese back." Is that what it's going to be? Look at his sword. Ridiculous. No man can wield a sword that large. With that sword, just maybe. That man. Where have I? Here, kitty kitty, I've got a toy for you. Oh my gosh. Easy mode. Look at this easy mode. Right down the middle. <laughs> what a man in one stroke. Unbelievable, who is he? Well, splendid. Such splendid kill skill. No doubt you must be a knight of renown. Have you thought about adding video game OSTs to your reading playlist? Um, like what? What? Like, I, yes, I am. The problem is, 
is like it's hard for me to like search for stuff that's like not copyrighted without like listening to it first because there's a lot of things where it's like oh this might work well but I need to like check it out before I play it because it might ruin the mood um so if you have any like good suggestions of things that are not copyrighted like for sure not copyrighted um I'm open to it like I love this dungeon synth winter synth stuff but like it's honestly kind of hard to find stuff that works well as like very ambient background stuff. And it's not just like super quirky and silly and sounds like a Zelda score or it'd be playing in like a Zelda village. Uh, you must be a knight of renown, but of what army? Not yet. It ain't over yet. What? Oh no. There's so many more. So many we're done for Lady Farnese. He flew? Yeah, he's so hot. Everyone, um, I, I need, I need a bath. I need to take a bath. I'm dirty. <laughs> we'll talk later. Let's hurry and split. Playlist and a free time for people to use. Uh, yeah, if you uh, if you're able to to do that, that would be awesome. And uh, if you think like, I mean, if you get the ethos of berserk and you can find stuff that you think will will work with Berserk, Berserk work, then uh, by all means. Wait a minute, please. All my family here are here in this place. Please. Come now, Guts. That is too cold. Whatever the case, I think it would be cruel to leave this many people and run. The Last Supper, eh? <laughs> all right, talk about charity. Shirk, if you would. I know. I have already found them. The foot of the bridge, east of the palace. I will guide you via thought transference. Well then, Serpico. I will finish quickly and then return. Well, this ought to get me back on my feet. Man, they are. They just make short work of all kinds of stuff, don't they? They know what they're doing. The rusted birdcage. Mm -mm. When you min max and grind, yeah, man. He is he's this level zero in magic, zero in charisma. But man, his poise with a two handed weapon that's five times his body length, unbreakable. Well, what is this man? He killed four of those monsters in the blink of an eye. I must have him for my army, nay, for mine. You will not snatch him away. Like, all of this stuff is happening. Oh, Isidro. What was that explosion? Stick to the walls and stay put if you want to live. It feels good having aristocrats dependent on me. <laughs> Hello there, terrified gentlemen. <laughs> this be not a charity. Three gold coins each, if you please. A bargain you must concede for saving your honored, your honored lives. This is, this is kind of a funny scene, actually, all things considered. What? Hey, are these fairies? How cute, fairies. An admission fee of one silver coin each, good people? No, something doesn't seem right. Teacher? What are thorn snakes? They are familiars I created. I realize thorn snakes... I'm having a deja vu. I saw that part of stream in my dream like a few months ago. What? A fairy going around asking for like tithe? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> or just like thorn snakes? Yeah, that. <laughs> okay. Asking for money. A fairy asking for money. Will you please help to support uh, the Red Cross? I found some spare time in which to make them, though they are impromptu. Please hold out your hand, Farnese. Take this. It is a ring braided with the same vine as these little ones. You, With this, you are the mistress of the thorn snakes. Well, isn't that cheery? I am? It is all right. You can handle them at your level. You know Farnese, then, do you? Take a hike. This ain't safe for amateurs. Can't have you saying that now, not in front of my beloved. Farnese, you did that? 
Please use silver, a silver weapon against that monster, Roderick. Have you not played the Witcher? Silver, you said. Oh, he gon' get you. Looks like he's taking care of things on his end. Nice. Doesn't even show it. Looks like, uh, in that case... What the? They just stopped moving. Now they're com they are completely bound and should no longer be able to move. Let's see. Oh, it's true. It's not moving, right? Admirably done, teacher. Your family's here. It's the aristocratic world, you know. This is the last stop on your journey? No. Within this cage of stone, I finally realized this isn't the place to which I wish to return. It's simply where my journey began long ago. I just missed it and wanted to visit again. That's all. Witcher is just berserk for Slav people. Maybe. I told you. I told you she was going to be like, and I'm done now. Thanks, everyone. I go with guts now. Bye. Bye. What a tragic scene this is. <laughs> you don't say. It's like a battlefield. What are these beasts? That man almost slew the monsters by himself. At a glance, he seems a mercenary, but from what army, though? Those are fairies, aren't they? So you saw them, too? And what were those things the lat lady controlled? Isn't she one of the Vandimians? You don't suppose the Vandimian daughter is, well, a witch? Looks like you're with us for good now. Still, though, I could tell something was up, but a witch? I never. Just what sort of journey has she been on? Look how much trust you put in another person. Not once did I ever see that within the mansion. Not for, not for me, him, and your brothers. For us to have Vandimians, so, such a thing could never could exist. No one ever paid you any heed in being raised in solitude. You won it through the power of your desire. A blessing that only a lithe soul in disregard for of her familiar familial yoke could bring about. My gosh, I'm a little envious. What shall we do now? Say what? Is this the thanks we get? This is getting complicated. Wait. Lord Vandimian, father. First on behalf of everyone here, thanks so much. <laughs> I must offer gratitude to you people for putting an end to this mayhem. Thank you. These repulsive monstrosities this evening. It seems hardly false to me to deem these ugly creatures war beasts sent by the Kashan in a scheme to take advantage of this party and murder the personages of each nation. War beasts. But such queer beasts as these. I have heard they are savages who prefer to use beasts in battle. Perhaps these were born of some secret art of crossbeating or drug use. Hey, I've seen Full Metal. They're, um, Chimera. Ah, yes, that does make sense. Is he right? I think he is about half right. But Lord Vendimian, these things, are these, what is your view of, on these things? Also, the actions your daughter displayed. Well, I find it terribly hard to say, but indeed, they could only be magic. The mood seems to be one of suspicion again. Your silence, everyone. That was most likely mere illusion. Ew, optical illusions. Well, well. Yes, but my lord, for it, can, for it to be so clear in the public eye, Perhaps the wine we drank was drugged. This is really funny. <laughs> He's just like, uh, it wasn't real. We saw it. We saw a wrong thing. It is the aim of the Kashan army to strike at the heads of the Holy See domain and throw our allied army into confusion. To fall so easily for such a transparent tactic is the height of folly. It is disgraceful behavior for an adherent. Or do all of you gathered here intend on the night before deployment to go around trumpeting about fairies and monsters, thus becoming a laughingstock of the soldiers? Indeed, what you say is true. The old man sure is tough. Yes, I think so too. All this reality is thrust before him, and as ever he employs shock and awe. He truly is out of Magnifico's league. What? Illusion? Illusion, you say? Father Time. Guts. Apostle. Hear me. I am Emperor Ganishka the, of the great of 
Oh my gosh, sorry. I am Emperor Ganishka, the Great of the Kushan Empire. I have come to this place to declare a proclamation of war against you infidels. The, those illusions you saw know this, that they are the start of a nightmare without end this evening. What was... There's Mua. What was that huge face? I sensed an enormous sinister magic power. He was the same as those who attacked the mansion of the spirit tree, an inhuman demon, an apostle. And he's a ruler? Is he among another one of his followers? Does that mean he's involved with this war? If you continue on with your journey, you'll soon encounter the apostles again, and then perhaps leading them will be... Um, Guts? Look, it's terrible. What now? The sky's red, a fire towards the harbor? So then it's true? The Kashan are... The damn thing's begun. Setting fire to all the ships, huh? Demon beast invasion? My gosh, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Look, the harbor's on fire. A Kashan night attack? It's not an accident. What's going on? Move, move, clear the way. Hey, guard, what's going on here? We're on our way to figure out that out ourselves. All right, move aside. It's hard enough to move through this fog as it is. Oh, what the? We're getting eaten. Oh, no. I like how they're always, like, in the middle. Like, they're about to be bitten. They're just in the mouths. Monsters. Big crocodile men. And tiger men. Man, they, like, why didn't they do this sooner? Where did they get this magic power? Is this just all part of Guts's, uh, Griffith's plan? Tiger King? Are you the Tiger King? They're great. Reporting. This is unconfirmed information, but in various parts of the city, bizarre, well, there are reports of monsters appearing. Monsters, so it's true. Then what happened early was real. We can't stay here. We must get to our command post right now. The, the city's, ah, oh, the ship is gonna burn. This presents a problem. Say everyone, I am still sexy. Does that help? I've heard most of the situation from Farnese's brother. You're looking for a ship? What's your destination? I might be of service. Roderick? Roderick. Who's he? He's Farnese's fiance, the bourgeoisie one. Roderick, I, uh, no, no, don't worry. Just tell me your destination. Yeah, I'm veteran of demon invasion beast wars on PlayStation 2. Skellig Island. An elf in paradise, elf hell. Skellig Island, I've heard of it. At some port city at sea to the west, if I recall. Why not? I'll take you all there on my ship. Yeah, just leave. Just go. Just let let Kashan have fun. <laughs> let them have fun. Whoa, man, really? It's right on my way home. But... <sighs> but my ship is a warship, and a trip at sea will be a bit rough on women and children, if you still wish to go. You're exactly what we need. Oh, yeah, indeed, we did it. Uh, but are you sure? A war is about to begin. I just came here to deliver this Majesty's signed letter. My work is done. <laughs> Eth may be in the same religious sphere, but it's on a different sect. We're Calvinists. We've no obligation or interest in shedding blood for the people here. Roderick, you're getting carried away again. Well, why not? Look what happened to that plan of yours. I don't feel like tossing out this engagement. Everyone is taking this war well. <laughs> it's just a mild inconvenience. I'd like to display some of my better qualities as a fiancé. Oh, man. There's such a love triangles. Oh, Farnese. Farnese, are you there? I can't hear you. I'm Roderick. Nice to meet you, Chief. I'm Guts, likewise, and thanks. Uh, the, the, I love to think of this guy as just like, Hey, old sport. Old bean, how's it been? Right, let's be on our way then. Right away? 
Fortunately, I'm anchored outside the harbor, but we can't have the ship burning down before we set sail. Yeah, you don't even know if your ship is ready to go. What about you, Manifico? If you're going back to Braju? Braju? Chris Pratt vibes. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. I'm... We cannot assume this reception hall is secure. I will have all of us move to the city administration building. Thankfully, most of the leaders of each nation's army are here. We might as well turn the administration building into a command center. It's obvious I'll be cens censured. Censured? If I stay here in Vertanis. I'll go away for now until things calm down. All right. I'll go too. Anyway, let's get out of here. <laughs> They're just like, we're done. Have fun, guys. We're leaving. Where is His Holiness the Pontiff? He was scheduled to arrive in Vertanis tonight, but his health faltered en route and he now rests in a tent. Surely this is divine guidance. A swift horse will be will soon be sent to warn him not to approach the city. You people, don't move from there. Your pardon, my lord, but is this no time for what he's scared of? Father. Good journey to you, Farnese. Why are they just letting them leave? You're going to die. <laughs> Did you not, like... You don't know what's happening out there? You didn't see the big, like, demon Santa face saying, like, you're It's hell all night, baby. Enemies got into the palace. The whole city's probably in an uproar, and then there's this fog. Crossing it on foot would probably be faster than by carriage. On foot? But you don't know when we might come across some of these those monsters in the city. Keep that fire burning. We've got some reliable companions if it comes to that. I want to stop talking. Like, there's been so much talking this whole stream. Leave it to us. We're pros, man. Pros. We said we're getting on a big ship, and we will. Um, just a moment, please. I am wish to change clothes, as I cannot run in these. In that case, I brought your silver shirt along as well as your knife. Sweet, nobody's around. It cannot be helped. I will leave this dress in exchange. I'll stand guard. Make it quick. Might I ask you something? Are you by chance the raider's captain? Of the Band of the Hawk? Mm. How does he know who I am? We have three chapters left. I am Owen, former leader of Midland's Ta Taumel Knights. Your appearance is considerably different, but I'm sure I remember you. Hmm. This was bound to happen at some point. Like, Guts gets not recognized all the time. But, like, his position in um, Band of the Hawk is like infamous and it gets like talked about even though people don't know that like guts is who he is so this was bound to happen at some point i'm glad it actually is i saw you several times on the battlefield abreast of the white hawk you rode a young swordsman with a large sword on his back and his and eyes like a beast captain of the hawks raiders your name let it go it's history now we're in the middle of things so i must ask you something the Hawk. Where is Sir Griffith currently? I don't know. But I wish I... No. She says she's done. How dare you sneak in when a woman is changing clothes? Take care. He might be closer than you realize. Hmm. A Vandimian, a thief. Is So are they going to leave for the elf land? And, like, as they're sailing away, Guts sees Griffith, like, on the dock. That'd be great. A Vandimian, a thief with that dress? You could buy ten of these outfits and still have change. Someone you know? Who's he? Those guys. Says he's looking for someone. I guess I looks like somebody he used to know. Are gone now. The mist veils him like some momentarily passing glimpse of the sun. No, I want to believe that it's not just the past or some illusion. One day those wings of light 
That is, that, as in that revelation, will sweep away the darkness covering our kingdom. So much dialogue. Oh my gosh. How is His Holiness's condition? Not very favorable. This is as this is a long journey in his state, and at a time like this of all times, His Holiness is quite old. This may very well be his last outing. It grows increasingly urgent that we call together the court supreme and choose a candidate for the next pontiff. Perhaps the most prominent is, after all, Cardinal Polizi Poliziano. Poliziano. Quite a bit of work, groundwork is already laid. He seems quite liberal, and intemperance haunts him to the detriment of his health. Yes, I see. Should his papacy not last long, let us consent to another candidate as well. Excuse me. His holiness was, how shall I say, a moderate man. Compared to the pontiff's past, he accomplished nothing special that stood out, but at the same time, he never misgoverned to the point of censure. He was truly inadequate. He was a truly adequate man. Worthless. Joe Biden? <laughs> he, he's an adequate man. He's there. He exists. He's a physical being. All those years that brought me to this age, this thought that would never finally disappear. Sleepy Joe, <laughs> that I, I've continually chanted in my mind like a curse. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Like, I don't care how honest you want to be. Like, what is like your opinion or like general, like Polish opinion on like the last 10 years of American politics, like Trump and Biden, like what, like what's the general kind of feeling about all of that in, in Europe or at least in Poland? I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to like how Europe and other places of the world view the U S sometimes. Um, all those years that brought me to this age, this thought that would never finally disappear. That this world is worthless and that more than anything, I am worthless. What? Is that balls? It looks like a shadow of balls. Poles like to make fun of everyone while going through their own political hell. <laughs> hey, why not? Why not? Born into, dis into a distinguished family, I was raised blessed by paternal love and wanting for nothing. I passed my season of childhood without discontent. Then I passed my youth without discontent. I grew to adulthood, never once embracing intense anger or affection. To me, who longed not after others, the world was in some way very clearly equivalent to a painting, adorning walls without any sense of real feeling. The reason I devoted myself to the path of faith was because I had no interest in such a world, never because I was seeking dialogue with God. Even my receipt of the holy title of pontiff came to those who desired success, foiling each other or failing, falling into the graves they themselves dug. The crown just happened to pass to me, one who does nothing. I wasn't, it wasn't something I wanted. Even as pontiff, I kept quiet and did what I was told. Never have I offered up my prayer from my own heart. That's right, because that's because I've never once harbored a wish for others or for myself that was worth praying for. Some pontiff I turned out to be. But now, enough. This vacant, tedious, idle lifetime will now end. There was no love, hatred, nothing. In the end, the divine hand of destiny was never held out to me. It was all a waste of time. Nothing but a stale chill. But once, just once. A dream? What's this? A dream? Or else... It's Griffith, baby. Is that... What, what are you? Has my... Has the... Has it been held out to me too? The divine hand of destiny? Was that a dream? But no. Dude, Richard? Me too. In fact. Hold on one second, guys. Whoa. Hmm. Alright. We're good. No worries. We're fine. I still feel something with this hand. Halt, who are you? Children? What do you want at this hour? We have been entrusted with a message for His Holiness the Pontiff. The message? The Pontiff is here, is he not? Come now, that's rude. His Holiness has now, has only just now retired. If it's a message, we will relay it. Tell us. Um, if you would grasp destiny in your hand, follow the guidance of the Feathers of Light. I think? 
What nonsense. Enough, now go home. I don't mind. Show them inside. But holiness, it will harm your... You heard what he said. Oh. Oh, there he is. This guy, this old guy's the one. Feathers of light. For the love of, show a little courtesy. Like this. We humbly beg your pardon. What's her name again? What's her name? I don't remember it. I can never remember it. We humbly beg your pardon for suddenly calling on you at night this way. We have come here with orders to bring your holiness back to our lord. You two aren't messengers from Britannus. No, sir. So much dialogue. Ah, enough of this. His holiness the pontiff will proceed from here to Britannus. He must administer important sacrifice, sa sacred rites at the deployment ceremony for the Holy See Alliance forces. You're a messenger from we know not whom. And you think we can simply accept the word of such children as the truth? I'm definitely of the same opinion. What is he thinking with this? Is this really going to work? Lord Griffith. It's going to work. Don't you don't you worry. That's this is me talking. Guards throw them out. <laughs> Nay. As they have said, let's depart immediately. Holiness, see? I forbid anyone to contradict me at all on this matter. It's my holy command as pontiff. He's being manipulated. Holiness, what in the world has come over you? Manipulation. Reporting, urgent news has just arrived. Vertanus has fallen under a surprise Kashan attack and is now in state, a state of combat. It is requested that his holiness, the pontiff, remain in this place and under no circumstances approach the city. Well, what? The holy signs are coming together. Interesting. It's like they're pointing out the path of destiny. Who knew that only now when my flame of life is truly close to going out, holiness, would my life be given meaning? Now lead me where you will, guides of the feathers of light. There's been a divine revelation. Hmm. Here we go! I saw the Super Mario Brothers movie the other night. It sucked. As an adult, it sucked. <laughs> but then again, they did the best they could. And I think it had to make its way through a bunch of lore that like the Lego movie didn't have to do. And uh, there's certain things I admire about the movie. But like as it's literally just like a bunch of references and lore Easter egg jokes tacked onto a very basic plot um, where Princess Peach cannot be the damsel in distress at all because that's not allowed anymore. So it was just like, eh, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Luigi's Mansion would be good, you know? Anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here for berserk. Berserk. Don't falter. You mustn't fall back. Defend this area with your lives. This is Kashan magic trickery. Don't be fooled by it. Ah, here they come. You guys are doing fine. Captain, these are no tricks. We're getting killed. Ow, I am dead. Reinforcements? <laughs> we sure didn't get very far. I apologize with the city in such disorder. It is difficult to read odd. Fine, we'll just force our way through it. Just slice them all up, dude. Doesn't matter who it is. Who is that man? He killed those monsters in one st stroke. Guts, be careful. If you aren't, the armor's power will. This is nothing compared to when I was fighting with Serpico. Eh? Yeah, I think we'll jump in too. Hey, you sure about this? That Guts swordsman is... That Guts swordsman is one thing, but those two... I think we'll be alright. This happens all the time. Here it comes, master and student attack. Look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, but video gamers will take any adaptation that's average at this point with how much bad adaptation. Yeah, that's true. Um, and, like, honestly, like, Ready Player One, definitely the book, but also the movie, was, like, offensive to me as a as a gamer. And, like, I, I love video games. I love retro culture. I love 80s culture, 80s media. But, like, 
it's so vapid and shallow and like Ready Player One offends me <laughs> to, to like, those are things that I like. Um, whereas with Super Mario, I'm like, Okay, you're trying, you're incorporating Mario Kart, you got the Donkey Kong thing. I kind of wish they wouldn't have gone with the Donkey Kong plot and would rather incorporate Yoshi. That would have been better. Um, we got to the end of the movie and my wife was like, Yoshi wasn't in this. I'm like, you're right. That's insane. Um, they went leaned heavy on the Mario Kart. They had a Rainbow Road sequence. Um, and like Toad was lackluster. At least he wasn't annoying like Olaf from Frozen, but uh, Toad was not funny, did not need to be there, had no funny lines, did nothing. Uh, Luigi, super underused. He was just, he played the damsel in distress role that Princess Peach couldn't play because it's 2023. Um, so there was a lot of things off. Um, Jack Black playing the Peaches song on the piano and acting like Jack Black, that's not funny. It, it hasn't been funny since, like, you know, after the first Tenacious D album. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's just, there's, there's problems. There are problems. I understand anyone enjoying it, though. If an adult enjoys it, I'm a little skeptical because there was definitely a bit of pandering. There was pandering specifically to, like, if you were a kid in the 80s. Yeah, Jack Black is endearing. He did a he did a good job vocally as Bowser, but they let him have some songs. And you shouldn't let Jack Black have some songs, is the moral of the story. Anyway, he flew. He cut them down without touching. The enemy burst into flames. What the? Magic? Hey, use my snakes. Yes, magic. Farnese, just what are you people? Guts. We are the Airbenders. We are the last of the Airbenders group. Kill the Gandhis. We nearly finished them all off, though. Took long enough, Witch. Let's get going. Let us be going, then. If we delay, we may be attacked by enemies again. Your sister and her crew are incredible. Uh, a witch in the family. This was not the plot I was expecting to happen, but I'm kind of fine with it. Forget being afraid of fighting these monsters. They seem used to it. Who are they? Horrible. This really is like a battlefield. We told you. Just like that girl, Sonia, showed me. Sonia? Was that her fake name or her real name? If we get past those storehouses, we'll be at the harbor. Let's hurry before the fire gets worse. Wait! Oh no, Cthulhu! Elephant Cthulhu is here! Oh, Lovecraft. Why you have to be so asexual and weird? What is that? There's more than one then. Here they come too. Oh no, we have a bit of a problem. Ugandan Cthulhu? <laughs> uh, but Guts, it's no problem. But if it comes down to it, do your thing. I understand. Well, let's get started. That makes me crave H.P. Lovecraft story from guys who, from guys who made Who Killed Captain Alex. What is that? Is that a thing? 2010 film. A Ugandan action comedy film. What Hollywood? Ultra low budget. The budget was eighty five dollars. Dude, you like Ugandan, um, or like I guess more, more generally, um, uh, uh, what are the like broader terms for like African, African filmmaking, like the low budget stuff that they make is like so endearing and like B level funny. That I'm just like, oh, oh man, so good. Who killed Captain Alex? Th this, like, so whenever Ethan's in town, we watch bad movies. Should I watch Who Killed Captain Alex with Ethan? 
we watched, um, it wasn't my first time, but we watched Birdemic. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. We watched Birdemic when they were here last time. Um, we did one live stream. It was Wild Frost on my channel um, while he was here uh, th three months ago, two, three months ago. And um, while while they were here, we watched Birdemic his first time, as well as uh, my other nephews were also here. And uh, we all watched Birdemic, and it was their first time watching it. And uh, they responded very well to it, and it was a it was a fantastic experience. Whenever you have people who like respond well to bad movies, and aren't like robotic about it, but like genuinely like enjoy the the even the small nuances of like badness, it's it's something special. And so Birdemic was a fantastic time. Part two, all right, here we go. Last little bit. City of Matt Damon's part two. Okay, that's over. Um, Dungeon Synth Dark Ambient Compilation 2022. I hope none of it's copyrighted. Recent release officially for free on YouTube and HD. Really? Under what channel? So I know that Stalker is on Moss Film a year ago. Are they all on Moss Film? Come and see is on there as well. Yep, cool. That's that's actually fantastic. Like Stalker, seeing Stalker and Solaris. Uh, I don't want to listen to this. By the way, we're just gonna go back to this. Seeing Stalker and Solaris was a, like a life changing experience. Cause like, two thousand one still my favorite movie, and like I'm dialed into Kubrick really well. But seeing Stalker and then seeing Solaris as like the antithesis of 2001 and how like I really relate to Tarkovsky on like a worldview, personal belief level um, was just like next level. Um, it was a very special thing. Anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's keep going. I got derailed. Slaying all the beasts, and then we're gonna leave for the east. Maybe? Is it west or east? Fiance, dude, name's Roderick. It'd be safer to keep quiet and keep back. Are they all just gonna, like, join? Is Roderick and, um, Manifico just gonna join them? So you, so say you, but we can't have that. It looks bad when a princess protects a knight. Gotta do it with style if you're a man, I agree. Where's a safe place? <gasps> Behind me. Oh, he can't handle it. Thought so. This thing's outrageously tough and dense. Even if I got in close and called on this. Stay down. Guts. That time. Guts, dodge it. Guts. That man was crushed. No. I'm okay. <laughs> it keeps me healthy. When did he... In order to climb the stairs, he intentionally let himself be attacked and pushed inside the building. Strats. I admire not being able to talk for a few pages. Hey, he's in trouble. Nah, he's fine. He knows what he's doing. Just enjoying the man. I like these high contrast panels. Deep darks, 
very stark whites. <laughs> is he a monster? Some would say. Reckless as ever, I see. Yeah, negative space. Exactly. We ain't got time for this. The ship's gonna burn. We gotta wrap this up quick. That's it. We're done. We're done. That's it. Okay. Man, before before the two hour mark, look at us. Look at us. We really did it this time, guys. We we had perfect timestamps. No boobs to censor. All will be well in the end. Just like Weezer says. Everything will be alright in the end. Ah. <sighs> I, I like where this is going. Obviously, that's not the... Um, I went by fast, was surprised I got engaged, despite me not being quite on the story. I mean, you don't know anything about, like, the eclipse. You don't know anything about where, like, those main prologue... Actually, you probably haven't actually gotten to the beginning of the story yet, like Guts's birth and, you know, all of that stuff. But you don't know where this is all leading and why it's happening. Um, but the, you got this nice, there's so many things with Berserk I'm realizing influenced stuff that came after. Cause there's elements of Berserk where I'm like, this definitely influenced Full Metal Alchemist. And having seen 95% of Full Metal Alchemist at this point, we have like 10 episodes left. We're gonna try to finish it very soon. So much of Full Metal Alchemist is like, this is the foundation of Avatar, Last Airbender, 100%. Uh, Dark Souls, yeah, like having gotten probably four or five streams into Berserk, I was like, I see the Dark Souls. I get it, I understand it. It's like this dark fantasy f mixed with this like Lovecraftian cosmic horror. Um, and uh, Dark Souls definitely pulls on that a little bit, where it's like, it's not just a dark fantasy, but it's like, ooh, this is like way beyond my pay grade. I walked into a building that has booby traps and snake guards, you know, like in Dark Souls, and you're like, uh, what? <laughs> it's just, it, it feels beyond you, and it's like intimidating, but you get to partake in it, and that's what's so fascinating, and that's what makes Berserk work really well, is this feeling of like mystery and it's like you're in a world that you don't understand or comprehend and the world building is very very conservative and plays close to the chest and they like um miura is that the name of the author uh he was able to impart the lore and the world building in a very metered minimal way um which at first is really at the same time, overwhelming and underwhelming. Like you have no idea how to calibrate yourself in the first several volumes of the story. And part of that is because you're not adjusted to the world building yet. But honestly, in the first uh, volumes of Berserk, you have this story that happens and then it flashes back to lead up to that part and then when it resumes it resumes after that part so like as far as chronology goes it's almost like it starts with two and then when two is done it can it goes back to one and then when one is done it fast forwards to three and it's a, a strange format um i don't know if that was intentional or if just that's like the the plot structure that ended up happening, but it the that opening part is a little janky as far as like there's like a in media res thing of like here's what's happening, you don't know what's going on, things are just occurring, you get introduced to Puck, and then it goes back all the way to the beginning of the story with Guts's birth, etc. Leads up to that with the eclipse. And then after that, it fast forwards to post in media res section, which is bizarre. I've never had that happen before. And ever since then, it's just been completely linear. There hasn't been any kind of weird jumping around. Um, 
at least in any like notable way that's been like here's a whole arc that's set 40 years in the past like that that's done now um so yeah, basically after the eclipse is kind of like when things start to like finally slot in and get like linear going forward. So it's been cool. It's been really cool and I like it a lot and I'm eager to keep going. Um, but for now we are done. We are finished. Uh, not finish. We are just finished. Um, so that's that. We, uh, I'm gonna stream with Ethan on Sunday, I believe. Probably on his channel? I don't know yet, it depends on what he's up for. Um, we tried to do Resident Evil 4, the new release, on my channel, uh, but my computer could not handle it. Like, between that, OBS, Discord, my computer just, like, crapped the bed, and I don't fully understand why. Uh, so Ethan will try it. If it doesn't work, we'll do like Jackbox or all stream tenants or something, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So tomorrow, that's the plan. Um, new Elliot Smith reaction came out today from a basement on the hill. So that can be checked out as well. And uh, that's all I got. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching. Thank you for reading along with me. And until next time, Godspeed.